Right, hello there guys, welcome back to a new video. Now, um, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm starting 2023 late, but just hear me out, just, you know, let me explain a few things. Now, as you, um, as you probably saw by the intro to this video, we haven't particularly had the best start of the year. Um, and to be fair, per, on a personal level, I haven't had the best start of of the year either i've had so much stuff going on and i just simply have not had the time to sit down and make a video now what you saw at the start of the video i'll go into in a bit more detail in a bit but yeah it's just i've been i've i've gone through quite a bit already this year um and it's been a lot to take in it's been very hard on myself uh, as well as my family um but yeah, it just it just hasn't been brilliant. Um, I've also been flat out with work as well. Uh, my work hours have increased, which means that I don't get time to edit and stuff like that during the uh, during the week like I used to. Um, so, you know, I, there's just been a couple of factors. And to be fair, I just haven't had the motivation to come and sit and make a video. Um, and that's just quite simply because of everything that's gone on. I just haven't been in the right mindset or anything like that. And also, before we go any further, um, if you notice that the audio quality is different, that's because I've actually got a wireless microphone, which I just smacked. Um, <laughs> I got it for Christmas. And I'm, I'm excited to use it. You know, I'm happy I'm using it. So, um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, but anyway, we are now officially starting 2023 on the channel. Um, I've already got one video recorded previously, which I'll be uploading after this one. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it and let's see what uh what we're going to get up to this year. Now to kick things off, we are um we're going to continue with content like normal, you know, building cars, buying, selling cars. Um, I'm going to try and get a few more car reviews done this year as well. Um, because I've I've been wanting to do a couple of car reviews over the past couple of years, um, and they just simply haven't been done. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue with car reviews. We're going to try and hit some car events this year, you know, like car shows, car meets, stuff like that. Um, Chloe's now in a new job as well, which means that she gets her weekends back, which means that we might be able to attend more car shows than we did last year because we have to work around like our shifts and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping that this year we can go to a lot more events, um, and cover them. Um, that is at least one of the goals. Um, like I said, I want to do more car reviews. Um, my Corolla will be going up for sale. Um, I'm waiting for something to be done, which, like I said, I'll explain later on in the video. But I'm waiting for something to be done. And then my car will be going up to, for sale. Um, as you probably can already guess, Chloe's getting a new car too. So there should be two new projects coming to the channel very soon. Um, and uh yeah i know i'm gonna get asked so why are you gonna sell the corolla blah 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 i'll make a separate video on that so don't you worry about that um yeah so that's sort of what to expect so far um just usual coverage usual content uh, i'm gonna try and go above and beyond this year um i'm trying to get myself into a better position where i have um more money so I should hopefully be able to buy more car parts. I should be able to upgrade some more equipment. As you can tell, I've already got an upgrade for Christmas, which is quite nice. Um, it's only something cheap, only saying little, but it makes one heck of a difference to my, uh, difference to my content. Um, so, you know, I do want to go above and beyond with this channel this year. Um, and I do want to try and sort of push a bit harder. And I do want to mainly reinvest in all my tech. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to move on to my um, my upload schedule. So for the obviously for the vast majority of last year, um, I was doing two, maybe three uploads a week. Um, and that was quite strenuous, considering the fact that my laptop, like I mentioned a lot, is not the best thing in the world. Um, it's quite strenuous on that. It makes editing take forever. Um, my laptop keeps randomly deciding it don't want to work as well now. Like it'll just shut off halfway through saving a, a video or something like that, which then means I have to use a, another editing software, which takes doubly as long because it's harder to use, as in like my computer struggles to run it more. It's just, 
it was so hard last year trying to keep on top of two uploads a week. Uh, not to mention the fact as well that um, that I struggled to come up with content sometimes as well. Um, because, well, as you guys know, I don't have money to constantly throw at cars, which means I can't always do stuff to cars. And, you know, it was just, it was quite hard trying to come up with content. Um, but hopefully this year, I just want to sort of work on my quality of stuff. So I want to take a bit more time over editing. So at least for the foreseeable future until I reinvest in a new laptop, there'll probably only be one upload a week now, just purely so I can go through, I can make a decent video. I can have all the time in the world to edit it. Uh, we'll say upload maybe, we'll, we'll say like Friday or, or Sunday. I, I don't know. Um, maybe maybe Sunday at six o'clock, I think, will be a nice a nice upload, uh, upload time at least. Um, so, yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll do Sunday, 6 p.m. is going to be my upload schedule. Um, I do apologize that I am dropping a video, but like I said, it's just, it takes far too long with the laptop I've got, not to mention the fact that my hours at work have now increased as well, which means that I'm not getting in till silly o'clock in the evening. And by the time I want to get in, you know, by the time I've got in, all I want to do is sit down, do nothing, have dinner and go to bed. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, with how things are at the moment, it's just not going to work like that. So you guys are probably wondering what went on at the start of the video. Well, I'm recording this on uh, two seconds. Wow, my Xbox don't even have my that I don't even have the date. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm recording this. I think it's like the 26th of January now. So first first day it is uh, first day 26th. I'm recording this, and just over a week ago, as you could tell by the video, Chloe was involved in an accident on her way home from work. Her second day into a new job. How frustrating. Um, and basically she was waiting to turn into our road. We live literally about 30 yards into our road from where she was turning. Um, and this absolute dickhead driver who had, who was reportedly driving around like an idiot prior to the accident anyway, um, showed no signs of slowing down and just went straight into the back of her, trying to squeeze up the side of her, which was not going to work and never does work on the road that she was on. Um, he tried mounting the curb to go around her, but, um, failed and yeah buried the front end of his car into the arse end of her car um the estimated impact was about 30 mile an hour um which may not sound like a lot but considering the fact that he only had probably about 50 yards to gather that speed from a standstill shows how much he was actually going for it um so yeah he ended up going into the back of her uh, he spun her around 180 degrees um i wasn't in the car i was at work so as you can imagine, it wasn't really a phone call I wanted from work. Um, but yeah, so that that's what had happened there. Her car is deemed a write-off, as you can tell by the damage. We knew that when the accident happened anyway. Um, I did try and get some slightly detailed shots. I mean, obviously, it was dark because it was when the car was getting recovered. But it's basically, it's bent the rear axle. It's pushed the rear tyre or the rear wheel into the wheel arch. It's crimpled her, like... The, the, the body shell, it's crumpled the body shell under the fuel tank, uh, or at least the fuel filler neck. Um, it's actually ripped some of the seam sealer uh, for some of the joints and spot welds, you know, like separating like the boot pan to the to the inner rear quarter and stuff like that. Uh, it's knocked her boot out of alignment. It's broken one of her tail lights. It's broken her rear bumper. It's done quite a bit of damage. So, you know, as soon as I turned up and saw the damage, I knew that that car was instantly a write-off, which is a shame because, well, you guys have seen how much work we've put into that car. And we are planning to do some pretty big things to that car this year as well. Like, Chloe's in quite a good financial spot. Well, she was in a good financial spot where we could pull off some quite big things with that car this year. Because even though, obviously, this is my channel and it should be my cars as main project cars, that was a true project car you know we, we've done an engine swap on it we bought it back from the dead you know we've modified it that car was coming along nicely and all we needed to do was add finishing touches to it which there was quite a few to add i'm not gonna lie but it was gonna make some for some really cool stuff and we had like 
honestly really big plans for that car this year. And uh, just like that, it's gone down the drain. So we're now looking for a new car for her. Uh, once she's got a new car, I'll be putting my car for sale. My car was already going to be for sale at this point. Um, but due to that happening, obviously, we now need to use my car to get about. I'm waking up to take her to work and then going to work myself and, you know, stuff like that. It's really, really screwed us over. Um, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, she walked out without injury. Well, I say that she had sort of slight signs of whiplash. She had like neck pain and back pain and headache and stuff. But other than that, you know, she wasn't immobile or like hospital bound or anything like that. She walked away totally fine. I just needed to monitor her for a couple of days and she needed to monitor herself sort of thing. Um, and she's now back to the annoying little shit that she always was anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So obviously that's all happened. Um, I've had a couple of family and personal things go on and that's why quite simply... Um, I've had a late start. Uh, it hasn't been fun. It hasn't been pleasant. It hasn't been nice. And to be fair, it's been quite stressful. But I'm hoping to make a comeback. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am all right. Because I did. I have had a couple of people messaging me, asking me when I'm going to upload and all that. So I'm here. I'm okay. You guys don't know me personally. Know what's been going on. Um, it's just been quite a stressful and quite upsetting start to the year but we're going to push forwards so yeah with that being said i'm going to end this video here uh, i don't want it to drag on too long so it's just a sit down and talk one um but if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a like uh comment down below what you think of like the upload schedule and you know all bits like that and more importantly hit that subscribe button if you are new around here I'm going to try and make the most out of this year. Like I said, I mainly want to focus on upgrading my tech and sort of experimenting with new things. Um, so some of my content may be really good quality. Some might be slightly worse, but I suppose you guys are used to that. Um, but yeah, just I just want to sort of, I want to focus on adding more of a professional and sort of entertaining aspect to the channel. Um, and like I've said on several videos, it is my tech that's holding me back now. So that's going to be the main focus for this year at the least. Uh, maybe not so much on the content side of things, but definitely trying to get my tech upgraded um, and definitely trying to provide better quality content to you guys um, because I feel that's all my channel's lacking now. Like I've got the basis, I'm into cars, you know, I know what I want to do. It's just I need the tech to back me up and help me do it. So, yeah. I'm going to outro the video there. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.